water level indicator with buzzer so this is the overhead tank now before going into the details we must understand these are all copper wires wires and here it is not connected that is this wire and this wire is not connected here it is connected similarly here it, the dot represents wires are connected now carefully look only one section here we have an npn transistor bc547 in the base we have 220 ohms resistor so when there is a base current this transistor starts conducting and the collector current will flow therefore the red led will glow but in order to get the base current flow into the base of this transistor if you carefully watch here you have 9 volts dc supply the positive end goes like this these are all conductive part and here it gets open now what happens is when the water when the motor is started on this is done manually so the motor is started on and the tank starts filling up with water so when the water level rises it touches this point at the same time the level will be like this but once when the water level starts increasing it touches the point a so now what happens when it starts touching point a water you all know that water is a good conductor so the positive positive of the supply comes like this the water acts as a conductor and it gives a connectivity between this point and this point actually this point is at 9 volts now so when it's when these two points get connected and a current starts flowing and that current will flow through the base of the transistor and the transistor goes into conduction and the red led goes into on conduction okay now water level slowly rises up and touches b level so this positive touches a as well as touches b that means red led will be constantly glowing now since the water level touches b point this transistor goes into conduction and the yellow light starts glowing because this transistor goes into conduction so these are all 220 ohms okay now the water level slowly rises up and touches c point now this positive 9 volts gets connected with a point b point and c point so now this transistor will get the base current because this 9 volts gets connected with c and the base current starts flowing therefore the transistor goes into conduction and the green led glows okay now that means 75% of the water tank has been filled up now slowly the water level rises and reaches the point d now d point also gets connected up okay that means some around 80 to 90% of the water tank has been filled up so now since d point is connected 9 volts get connected here also and base current flows through this transistor and the buzzer sounds now the buzzer starts sounding gives an alarm signal therefore what you have to do is manually you have to go and switch off the supply to the motor pumping motor so when it touches uh, d level you can um, buzzer will go on at the same time you can make a parallel connection by using a relay along with a transistor you can make an automatic cutoff so that is another part that you can include with the same 
circuit. So for, to operate this circuit, you need a 9 volts DC supply. You need a transistor BC547. BC547 is a low frequency uh, transistor. C means low frequency. B means made of silicon. Okay, so the red indicates the tank is almost empty, empty and it, it has just started filling up. So red, there is some water in the tank. That is say 20 or 25 percent water in the tank. Yellow, half or 60 percent has been filled up. When the green glows, 75 percent has filled up. And when the buzzer rings on, it is 90 percent. So immediately when the buzzer goes on, you have to go and switch off the motor. So this is the basic working principle of the circuit, water level indicator with buzzer. Hope you have understood the circuit operation of water level indicator with buzzer. Thanks for watching this video. Nandri.